Hi guys, it's Laura, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Poverty to Plenty. This is episode number 7, and we are back here with Cody and where our princess is, somewhere running over here. Alright, Cody is uh, just working on a school project. It's Sunday, and um, yeah. He's feeling pretty good. I have been um, contemplating what what to do with Cody now that he has a little more money. And I feel like he ran away, you know, from home and he and he came here to Brindleton Bay just to get away from Oasis Springs where is, which is where his uh, his parents live. But I feel like he would actually really want to go to the city just to, you know, be able to afford a place to live because you don't need to have as much money up front in order to get an apartment normally uh, to rent an apartment as you do to to buy a home i just sorry i just spotted princess princess back here again she stinks and she's going to fight a squirrel in in this bush sounds like she's fighting something at least can you hear that Yikes, princess has been bitten by a squirrel. Squirrel bites may cause illness, so keep an eye on your furry friend. Oh, that's annoying. But fair enough. We'll have to take her to the vet at some point. Um, but I feel like we should move Cody to the city, and I hope you agree with that. I had a poll, not that many people answered, but uh, someone said that they would like it to like Cody to to move to the city, and I think that's a good idea. I think that makes sense. A lot of young people go to the city to to find themselves and to find new opportunities, and I think that's great. And uh, Sophia just asked if he uh, if he wants to go to the flea market. And I think that's a great idea. So uh, let's go to the flea market. Maybe let's bring some of the other guys from the gang. Let's ba bring Malcolm Landgrab, who is going to be, I think, Cody's one of his best friends, even though Malcolm does not know yet that, that Cody has no money. Um, but maybe Malcolm and Cody will, will actually want to become friends, um, like want to become roommates, I mean. Um, I feel like now they're meeting up in the city and I think we should have Cody tell him a secret, tell him that he's really poor and he actually really doesn't like uh, his parents and he he left he left home in order to, um, to make a new and different life for himself. And uh, maybe... Maybe Malcolm actually feels the same way, you know. Malcolm is a land grab, and if you don't know why they have the name land grab, it's because, well, they used to grab land. So um, I feel like maybe his parents aren't the best people in the world. Um, and maybe Malcolm also wants to, yeah, to, to try something for himself. So I feel like Cody is going to talk to him and be like, Hey, dude. I feel like we are becoming really, really good friends. So I want to tell you something. I want to tell you that I'm going to gossip a little bit. So why are you turning away? This is a very weird way to be standing when you're talking to someone. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Really? Like, look at his face. He's like, oh my gosh, you're poor? And then he's like, well, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you're going to be fine. You know what? I, uh, I got, you know, I got a lot of money from my grandfather when he died. And I've been wanting to move out because I feel like my mom is really, um, I do. It's really not respecting that I'm growing up to be uh, an adult. So let's let's Cody, let's you and I let you and I maybe um, maybe move in together. You know, I think they should do that. So 
I just want to find an action, let them, uh, can't they take selfies together? Like, hey, we are gonna, we can rave about growing up, that's cool. I love all the actions that we got in Parenthood. Oh, call him over then to, uh, to join you, Cody, when you leave him behind, that's not very cool. That's not very nice. Okay. So. Rave about growing up. I like that. So when they leave the, um, the flea market here, maybe they're gonna actually buy some new furniture before they leave. Maybe these chairs or something to bring to the uh, new apartment that they're gonna move into? So I feel like... Hey man, it's gonna be great! Yeah, great, let's do it! Let's go look at these chairs actually, let's uh... Let's see if we want to buy something. Who is a, who's a vendor here we can haggle? Joaquin Le Chi, Le, Le Chen, Le, Le Chin? I don't know. Let's go and haggle a little bit. Let's see if we can get a good price on some of these items that we want to buy for our new place. You drive a hard bargain. Tell you what, I'll give you 25% off. That's great. Awesome. So maybe let's buy... Ooh, an office chair. This poof kind of thing, pretty cool. We can't buy it? Oh. So let's buy this fluff pillow. And maybe... I still feel like this armchair. Trash or treasure? I think it's trash. Be sure to check your household inventory next time you're at home. And also, I'm gonna buy this chair for them. Maybe this here cool lamp. Let's let's buy that as well. Cody has a little extra money to spare, and I think it's pretty cool that you can go to the flea market and buy stuff for cheap. And it it may be worn out a little bit, but that's fine. Let's just uh, maybe shoot some hoops with Malcolm. Um, and Sophia, they are all here to see if we can have a little fun before we uh, we leave the flea market. And I was just for a second there, I was like, why is Cody not changing his clothes? But it's because he only has this one outfit, but now that he, he has got a little more money, I feel like he should also, um, he should also buy some new clothes. So let's... Uh, we can't travel. No, so let's end the flea market and actually, yep, and let's travel to the land grab house to um, to tell Malcolm's parents that hey, hey guys, Malcolm is actually moving out, so he's not gonna live here anymore. We're gonna start off on our own. We're gonna try our own thing. Try to make it in the city. That's cool. Two, two teenagers in their late teens moving off to the city. That's sort of a dream, I think, for many people to, to be able to live with their best friend and be like... Yeah. So maybe we can tell... Can we tell a group story? Be like... Uh, tell a group story. With all of them. So let's have Cody and Malcolm. Oh, they're hugging. That's so cute. You know what, guys? We decided we're gonna, we're gonna try our luck. Doesn't it look, sorry, but doesn't it look like Malcolm is, 
taller than Cody? Like, that's strange. Maybe Cody's just slouching a little bit. I don't know. Maybe his head is just longer. He definitely looks... Ah, there is uh, an unevenness in the terrain right here. That makes sense. Okay, so now they told them. I feel like that's fine. They're still gonna be friends, you know. His parents are like, well, you know what? We always wanted you to um, to make it on your own and to to live your own life. So, and oh, Malcolm is pumped, definitely. All right, so let's do this, you guys. Let's uh, let's have Cody go home and uh, maybe bring Malcolm home so he can see where Cody actually spent his time. Poor Cody. He's just it's so sad. And then let's uh, let's let's have Cody bring some of his stuff. You know, he has his diary, he has princess <laughs> and uh, and the furniture that princess needs and also his plants which now that now that I think about it, maybe bringing plants to an apartment seems a little strange. Well, you know, Malcolm probably has some money too, so these guys can probably afford one of the cheaper penthouse apartments, actually. So we could have a balcony. That would be pretty cool. So uh, let's see. Let's have his inventory out and let's grab... What is it that you click to put it in the inventory? Oh, it's backspace. So let's put all his plants in his inventory. His woodworking table. Print the stuff for princess. Oh yeah, definitely his guitar as well. Let's just grab his bookshelf and his, uh, his desk here as well because I feel like you might bring that kind of stuff, his school project, project, uh, yeah, I think that's it. And then let's go to um, manage worlds and let's see if we can't get these two to move in together. Or we can, but let's see what, how we do it because I feel like we need to manage some households first and everything. So, all right. Let's go to Oasis Spring first, and let's move out. Uh, manage household. Let's create a new household and put Malcolm in there. And he has 20,000 simoleons, which I think is fairly realistic since his parents are rich. They are the land grabs after all. And then let's manage households see if we can't put him into this household does he not uh will be sold and transferred to the new household so will his funds actually go over there as well let's have a look yes okay so they now have forty-one thousand simoleons which is quite a lot of money for two young teens but Again, one of them is a land grab, so it's not that big. It's not that much of a uh, a surprise. And then I feel like I believe that the this oh the land grab apartments. You see, maybe you sh we should actually build a land grab. Can we afford that? Oh no, we cannot. It's huge. And it's very expensive. It's five thousand in weekly rent. It has a balcony though. But how much is this? There's a penthouse over here. Oh yeah, that's true. You don't pay rent in penthouses, you just buy them. But oh okay, sorry, I just clicked the wrong thing here. I don't wanna I don't wanna create new sims, I wanna move in my current sims so let's just bring them up here and let's see move household on into a lot can they actually move in here if it's unfurnished 
they can actually okay i'm just gonna look around let's just look around and see if there are any other apartments that have balconies but i feel like they need a balcony for cody's plants and for them to have some fresh air and also just um yeah malcolm is rich so why not so oh that's the also a big one has no outdoor areas though is there only one apartment that has a balcony it's a little embarrassing that i don't even know the apartments but i really don't the jangs this one is actually pretty cool i like this apartment wow but it doesn't have outdoor space let's have them buy this penthouse the cheapest penthouse and it actually costs 30,000 simoleons which is a lot so they won't have that much money left for furnishings but I feel like maybe the land grabs got them this and they could live there um, I think that makes sense like since Maybe the land grabs bought up something over here in the arts district as well, and not just in Uptown. Um, but they won't have that much money to uh, to furnish the place. Luckily, Cody is good with carpentry, so like with carpentry, so he can actually renovate the place maybe a little bit. Oh yeah, I remember this apartment. I'm actually just now working on. Um, fixing it up because it's super weird when it's furnished there's a kitchen over here and a bathroom but then there's just a lot of space and a bed and nothing out here no other furniture it's super weird but this is a great space for the guys but i feel like let's just ditch the um the outdoor part over here it's probably quite expensive with the large windows and everything. So let's just have them ditch that. And let's put Cody's plants in these planter, box planter boxes out here. That's great. Can I grab the entire stack somehow? I can't. Okay. So here we go. and let's see i don't want garbage but okay we have some garbage we have a light oh we kept the furniture yeah okay i wasn't supposed to choose uh keep furniture but we did so let's just place whatever we have we have a shower and a toilet already so that's good and we have a fridge, so that's nice as well. We need some sort of uh, room. Like they need their each need their own bedroom, right? Let's not make them too big right now because it's way too expensive to make them so big. And let's have them painted. All right. And for doors, maybe ones that match the one for the bathroom. All right, and then Cody can have, oh, he has no, oh, he has a window, good. He can have his bed and his desk, desk chair. I'm just plopping it in right now. I don't really think too much about th furnishing now. Maybe I'll do a renovation video when they have a little more money, but I feel like right now, um, it doesn't matter too much how it looks, it just matters that it functions and then they'll have to work hard in order to, to furnish it. I think that's fine. They have a little bit of seating that F Cody bought at the flea market. Great. Uh, there we go. You don't need this trash can. It's the school project. The litter box, which... There's plenty of room in the bathroom, so let's just put it in here. 
another little light. And this plump up light, I'm gonna sell that. Let's just quickly put in a little bit of a kitchen, some of these very cheap counters. Move the fridge over here. And give them a stove and a sink. So this is not gonna look super pretty, but they don't they can't afford anything too crazy. So let's have them, uh, let's get them a small dining table. I think this dining table looks a lot like an, an Ikea table. So I think that's pretty realistic for two young guys to have. And then maybe just these very cheap uh, foldy chairs. They can have a few friends over. Maybe Wolfgang will, will uh, visit them. And let's get Malcolm. He probably uh, brought some of his furniture from his house. So he probably has um, a, a, more, a, a more fancy bed than Cody could afford. So let's get him this one. And he probably also has um, a computer. So let's just put that in here. Is there room for that? Yes. All right. There we go. And maybe his parents were like, no, you can't bring a TV. Or maybe let's have them have just a small one. So they can sit here, hang out watch the television. There we go. All right, so they can cook, they can use the bathroom, they maybe need a sink in here. And I want to upgrade the shower because that shower is just useless for <laughs> taking showers. And Let's get them a few lights as well, because they don't have any lights in their rooms, and that's a little strange. There we go. A light for Malcolm, a light for Cody. Maybe one ceiling light over here for... for the dining area, sort of. There we go. Okay, so this is very basic, but I feel like, okay, maybe Malcolm's parents were like, hey guys, we have this apartment. It hasn't really been renovated. It's not anything fancy, but you can live there for cheap. You just need to pay us a one-time deposit and then whatever you can um, afford, you'll have to... you." Think about that for yourself. You have to figure out um, how you're gonna furnish it and everything. Because if this is something you really want to do, then you need to figure it out for yourself, which I think is super fair. I I would love, like, I love parents who have that approach. Like, you want to help your kids, but you also want them to uh, to actually take some responsibility for their own lives. So. These two guys are now gonna take responsibility and start their lives. Um, yeah, that's great. Why is this flooring so strange? I think that one is a mistake, right? Whatever. Okay, so let's go to lift mode and uh, it's Sunday at 3 p.m. and Malcolm is feeling energized because Cody t told a uh, an adventurous tale, which is the tale of two friends venturing out into the big city to to make it and to have fun and to just live their lives. That's a great story, Cody. So let's uh, have a bit of an inside joke and maybe. Yep, yep. Can we have, oh yeah, a hip bump. 
And a hug. They're already hitting it off like crazy, these two guys. Oh yeah! Maybe let's have another hip, hip bump because I really want to take a screenshot of that. I think that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, we can't. Okay. Uh, give a pep talk. So then maybe Cody will become energized as well, or maybe not. Okay. Uh, why is there water on the floor? Did Princess just pee the floor? That's weird. Why is there a puddle there? That's that's gross. So, okay, we need to take her to a vet clinic. And uh, let's just do that now. It's Sunday, but that's fine. And the toilet just broke. That's great. Take to vet clinic, please. Does this interaction not work? Yeah, it does. Good. Because she needs to go to the vet. Or she doesn't want to go to the vet. And Lily Fang heard that we became friends with Malcolm Landgrab. Yeah, Lily, we didn't just become friends. We actually moved in together. So, how, what do you think? Figure, what do you think about that? Um, I'm gonna place. Maybe I'm gonna build a vet clinic for San Myshuno, but at the point at this point, it doesn't have one. So let's go to the one and print one of the ones in uh, the one. There is only one. Okay. The one in Brindleton Bay. And uh, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna leave this part here. I'm gonna get Princess fixed up for the next part. And we're gonna start the adventures of uh, Malcolm and Cody, the new bros. Just moved to the big city. That's gonna be really exciting. And I can't wait to share with you what happens next. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this part here. And I hope, you hope to see you in my next video. So thank you for watching. And uh, please comment down below if you have any suggestions or anything that you think is strange or think is cool or anything. That would be great. I read all the comments. Not that there are that many. Now I'm just rambling. So bye.